But first, the Cy Young Awards will be announced tonight. You can see it right here on MLB Network. Shouldn't be any controversy, but it is a reminder of how far we've come and where we should not be going. Let's do a little digging in. You know, sometimes it's easy. In the American League, Garrett Cole of the Yankees leads the league in innings, ERA, he's third in total strikeouts. He's also the easy leader in win probability added and run expectancy. Those are important things, too. There's no reason to get cute. There's no thought experiment to tinker with. It's Garrett Cole. He should win. All right, nationally, there is a reason to take a closer look. Blake Snell is the runaway leader in park-adjusted ERA, but he threw just 180 innings. Justin Steele of the Cubs, by the way, was making a run, but in his last three starts, he gave up 15 runs, 15 in three games. That put it away. So I'm going to bottom line it. Here's RA9 war for the National League. Runs allowed per nine war. That gives you how many runs you allow, how many innings you pitch, and it turns out one number. You don't have to know the scale. Just know that Snell is way ahead at 7.4. Logan Webb of the Giants, Zach Gallon of the Diamondbacks, they both threw over 200 innings, right? A lot more innings, but they are still well behind Blake Snell. I want to show this very non-traditional sort of analysis. Part of measuring a pitcher is to see how often he gives your team a chance to win. I saw a lot of Blake Snell this year. He was always giving the Padres a chance to win. It's another way of looking at it. Snell was actually quite remarkable. He threw shutout ball, zero runs. Now he's going, right, five, six, and seven innings, right? Tw look at it, 12 times. 12 times he threw shutout ball, did not allow a run. Next, nine, the next highest guy in the National League, nine. He did 12, zero or one run. He did that 17 times. Next is 12. 17 times, he's giving you a great chance to win. Zero or one run allowed. I mean, unless you can't score. How about two runs or fewer? That's a pretty good shot, right? 25 times. 25 of his 32 starts. Two runs or fewer. You have a great shot at winning the game. He's going five, six, or seven. I know he's not going that deep. He's going deep enough. He actually gave up more than three runs. You know, got him a bad start. Twice in 32 starts. He was tremendous. Again, look at the next closest guy to him. It's not even close, so it's Snell, right? He should win. But I'd like to point out something weird, right? Just for some information. Spencer Strider of the Braves had a very strange sort of old school, new school season. Strider led the National League in X woba That's the quality of contact you allow. He also led the league in strikeouts and strikeout rate. He had 281 strikeouts in 186 innings. Kind of crazy. You know what else he did? He won 20 games. <laughs> we, we don't talk about wins on this show. In fact, this show killed the win. We did that. But Strider was the best stat cast pitcher in the National League, and he was 20 and 5. I find that very strange. It just seems that we're very mercurial in what he did. Not very long ago, I should point this out. Spencer Strider's win loss record may have carried the day. You kids think I'm fooling. I'm not. And maybe not that far into the future, we're going to judge pitchers on their theoretical excellence and Strider's ex woba will be winning the Cy Young for now I think we're at a balanced point I think we value the swing and miss and the weak contact but we still believe a pitcher is largely responsible for the runs that he allows I'll say this I'm glad we're past the time when Johan Santana had a better ERA by more than half a run more innings and more strikeouts than Bartolo Colon but Colon went 21 and 8 and won the vote that wasn't 1975 that was 2005 I'm also glad that we're not at a point where the award goes to the guy who makes the best pitches with the best shape and break and spin you think I'm kidding I'm not we fooled ourselves before we'll do it again but right now, I think we're getting it right. Blake Snell deserves the award for best pitching season in the National League.